Okay, let me get my designers and we're going to start our program. Ladies, are you ready? Come on up. Now let's give our designers a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce Carmel Wilson, who's going to be over at this table. Carmel Wilson from California Pantry. Stay right here, Carmel. Don't go too far. Terry August from Los Angeles, Beverly Hills, and Kate Apple from Lafayette. And this is our design staff. I'm going to send the designers to their tables. The girls back down, and we're going to start. Uh, why are we here? Has that answer come to you yet? I think we're here about three, four reasons. The first one is profit. Would you agree? I mean, you've come here to hear about how to make more money. Can anybody give me the second reason? And profit. Can anybody give me the third reason? And profit. Is, isn't that why you're here? I have a $50 bill. He'll give me $5. He'll give me $10. He'll give me $20. He'll give me $20? Give me $20. Come up here. Bring all your credit cards. <laughs> Bring all your credit cards. Now, wait a minute. Something is wrong. I just sold a $50 bill for $20. Now, we're here to make money, aren't we? She just made $30. I don't take checks. Look at this. You're going to get one. I don't mind anything. Don't give me pennies. You got two coming. I got two coming. Okay. Yeah. You got it. That's fine. There's your $50. You. Hey, that wasn't bad. I just lost money and she made money. All right. Now, come on. Be on your toes. Who will give me $50? All right. I have to ask a question before I do this. Who in the room has seen the seminar before or has seen the tapes? Anyone? Good. Okay. Who'll give me $50 for this? He'll give me $25 for this. $20? $20. You were the first to put your hand up. Come on up here. Now, why would you buy something that you don't know? You, you don't, this could be empty. Why did you put your hand up? Because I trust you. Ah, that's it. That's it. In a, in, in, that's it. We can't go any further. Here's a $50 bill. Now, what this proves is, it proves what happens when your customer comes into your store. See, what they do is, they've never shopped in your store before. They don't trust you. They come in and they look around. And they see, oh, this looks nice, but are those nuts inside rancid? Does, do you guarantee your baskets? Let me see who you are. Do you guarantee your you see what I'm saying? So the customer doesn't, they're not sure. Was that a good, that, was not, that wasn't a bad, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, you ever see a customer come in? What, what do they do when they come into your store? They, first they go around, they look around. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, they pick it up and they go, 6.7 pounds. Now what they're trying to do is they're trying to identify five reasons why they want to buy this gift. Oh, gee, the basket's nice. Look, it has a nice keepsake value. Christmas trees or evergreens. Ah, crackers, co uh, coffee, candy. Oh, I'm going to give this to somebody. Chocolate over here. They're going to love this. So when that customer finds that price point and all of the products inside that they want, they're going to buy the product. All right? So... The trust value that I'm talking about is that once you have dealt with your customer for three, four, or five times, what's going to happen is, and they've had a happy experience with you, they trust you. Don't you know of a retailer in your community where you want a service and you call them on the phone and you say, George, just do it. Here's, here's what I want to spend. Take care of it. Every time I've dealt with you in the past, you've always done a good job. You trust them. So... If you learn nothing else, 
understand that when a customer comes into your store, that's what they're doing. They're, they don't know who you are. They want to know, can they trust the products that are inside here? Because they can't get in there yet until they purchase the product. And I say to my audiences, look, grab a hold of three really important themes that I'm going to talk about and take those home to your store and use them. What happens, I find, that people who come to seminars, they'll say in their mind, oh, that'll never work in my store. I mean, I'll tell you the story about a San Francisco retailer who I asked to get a chair 20, 18 years ago. And I said, look, fill this up with wine. I'll gift wrap it. I'll put it on display at the show. I'll re-deliver it to your store. And the husband was really upset. He didn't want to go out and get this fan peacock chair. It was just too much trouble. This will never sell. A week later, because the, 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 the gift stole, it would retail for $500. A week later, a woman who had just sold a $3 million property in Tiburon came by the store, saw the chair with all the wine in it, and said, can you put another $500 worth of wine in it? The husband immediately went to Pier 1 to buy another fan chair. So what I'm saying is, if you don't show the product, if you don't do the ooh-la-la -la gift, you're never going to sell it. So you've got to get it, get it out. Let's talk about all of the different topics that I'm going to discuss today. Goal setting, product presentation, advertising, gift building, markup and percentages, packaging, trade secrets, new gift ideas, and the dynamics of...